Hey guys, Substance, it's here again. I'm back for part 12 of my Rome 2 Total War Roads campaign. So, last part. Um, for some reason, the video cut off. Um, and you missed about 10 minutes. I played no battles. I didn't really do anything, honestly. I just upgraded buildings and I talked about what my plans were, but that was about it. All I did do was declare war on these guys and I marched my army up here that I got from here. And, um, I can't really think of anything else, to be honest. That's really all I did. So, nothing really to be concerned about. Um, I think I did my first Eat It here, which did 5% tats. I don't remember if I did that in part 11. But, uh, nevertheless, let's go and get this started. So, we moved up and we attacked them. And, we are at war with these two countries. So them and Samaria, and then after I take over some this uh, faction right here, put to move in, capture Royal Stithily, Stith Sith Sith I don't know. Then Samaria, and then probably push through here and uh, go into India, and just take a bunch of settlements. And with my other fa my other army right here, actually it might be better. Um. To uh, look at this from this point of view, I'm gonna send this army up through here, take the settlement, take the settlement, move through here, and uh, like I said before, I'm gonna take this army, move through the Nori, and I'm gonna try and surround Sabia, and then push in and just take them over, and uh, then we'll just move uh, west, I guess, after we take over this, and attach all the barbarian regions, and then maybe move down into Rome and Spain and. And, uh, after that, I don't know. Somewhere around this time, though, I am gonna betray, um, my client states. Just because I don't really want them. They're they were kind of just temporarily. I get my economy booming and, uh, get things moving, I should say. But, um, let's do it. And, uh, let's we could fight it. Let's fight it. Why not? There's no walls, so let's go and fight. The ten thousand. Sorry, I'm draining drain right now. Oh, dun, dun. I have not done a navy at all this campaign. I just noticed that. They're gotten like no navy whatsoever. Probably just some, um, at least at one. Like just, I don't know about good, but just something. I feel like I always waste my money though when I get a navy, so I never use it. I never like navy. Like just anything about the navy. Um, not in real life, obviously, but in Total War, just I don't know. Never used it. It seemed like I'd use it in Napoleon, I guess. But hated it in Shogun. I know people liked it, but I did not. Ugh. This name, honestly, the navy looked really cool to me. I was like, whoa, this actually might be pretty cool. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just I don't know. I still don't like the navy, so. Who knows? Put my cavalry on this side, I guess. It's my general speech. If he's gonna do one. When we take this place, it will be a heavy blow to our enemies and their ambitions. The glory and loot we gain are just added delights. Once we are within the walls, do as you will. Now, to arms. Yeah. Okay, after that very inspiring speech, let's go ahead and move forward. So, I think we'll do something like this. Well, no, we'll move on this side, I guess. Let's well, something like this, I guess. I'll move Slainers on this side. My cavalry. 
over here. They're docking their men right now, down off the boats. Don't look too threatening, not gonna lie. Um, they are a bunch of badasses just hitting their tribesmen. I, I'm pretty sure I just heard one of them burp, so. I see they want to play. <laughs> I love all the little voice actions in this game. It made me laugh. Um, so, Step Arches. They could probably be eliminated, but I'm worried about where these guys are, so I'm not gonna charge my tab. Um. I can't believe I even bought the Blood and Door patch. I don't know what I was thinking. Was, I mean, after I bought it, I was like, can I just did a mod for this? And then I saw a mod on the Steam Workshop for the Blood and Door, and I didn't have to pay three bucks. Like, it's three bucks, so it's not even that big of a deal, but I just thought it was funny. I even paid for it. Um, okay. Send three units that way. Three units this way. And we'll charge this way. Then we'll put all my slainers right here. And we're gonna put my general on this side. Oh shit. Come on boys, get formation. <laughs> they're running they're like oh shit <laughs> all right I need to start focusing um okay you guys get in there charge probably lost about two dead men because of that little freak show. I'm gonna charge my tavern, I just wanna wait a second. The battle is turning um, in favor. Yeah, we can probably charge them in here. Do a rapid advance. I even lost. That is freaking hilarious. I haven't lost one minute in these four units. That's freaking hilarious. I haven't even lost one minute yet. One man, I'm saying men. That's horrible grammar. I'm sorry about that. I've literally not lost one man yet. That is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty freaking hilarious. Um. Citizen cavalry. General out there. They've rotted now. Alright. I lost one guy. That's freaking hilarious. You see, that they probably have the worst troops I've ever seen. Like, seriously. I had the freaking mod where, uh, the battles last a long longer, and it only lasted five minutes. If I didn't have that, it probably would have lasted, like, a minute. But they are horrible. That's hilarious. I mean, they are garrison units, but... 
He who conquers, he conquers, who endures. Pessis, Roman poet. For some reason, just because I watched the TV show Rome, for some reason, whenever I think of like Romans, I think of them having British accents. I don't think of them as having Italian accents. Oh, they even added in the blood on here. That's actually quite interesting. They even down here. Um, they are pretty nice, but you don't really need to do that. You don't need to. So we'll just raise it. Um, build one of these, I guess. Real Sicily and West Sicily. Um, I don't know if they don't like me. They don't like me. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly, and I may feed your tongue to the dogs. <laughs> that was quite intense. My God, man, you really don't like me, eh? Welcome. The day is already old, and there is much to do, so if you have words, speak them. Oh. Your son, be my clan stay, you fed it. I feel like they're greed, so I'm trying to unite the entire greed empire. I think I've said that before, but I kinda am. I don't know why I want to, but I do. I pretty much have been pretty successful at that. Besides Sparta, I pretty much eliminate all the war in uh in Greece. So if you think about it, so I've got some, pr I've done some pretty good stuff for them. They um, are military allies and all these guys, which kind of sucks. They're my military ally, though. May Hermes bless us both with skillful tongues that we may speak our parts well. They're just and never so gonna. I'm telling you, like they're never gonna become my clients. They like, they don't ever go to war with anyone, too. It's very, it's very fascinating to me. Now they literally never go to war with anyone, besides Empress in the very beginning of the game. Um. So Bundia. I feel like I'm just gonna let these guys starve out here and die by their own way. My sword is yours. Um. So let's just go ahead and end the turn. So um, I've been learning about like the Blitzkrieg, and uh, just like what it is, you know, and how the Germans used it. And if I actually think about it. Every time I play Total War, I use that tactic. Especially when I have an ally. Like... Especially, like, I'll make an ally think we're good friends. I do this all the time. I just... It's very effective. Like, I'm gonna do it with most of my client states in Egypt as well. Um... I'm gonna betray them. Like, I, I'm sorry. It's just not to happen. And... <laughs> um... Where I'll just set up a bunch of troops and just all attack at once in multiple different places. Like I did it all the time in Napoleon. It's very effective. But I'm um, definitely gonna be doing it on Egypt. Definitely, definitely. Egypt, there's so much land you need to conquer, and to eliminate them, you need to get rid of their four major states, and that's Memphis, um, Memphis, Alexandria. Uh, well, they don't have this yet, so that's quite interesting. Um, Cyrene and, um, Mysos. And once you do that, they're pretty much done. But, uh, anyways. Trouble Populous, where? Oh, here. Well, they're allowed to be upset, okay? Uh, new six percent losses when under siege. That's interesting. I don't want to do any more sieges. I don't think I'm gonna be getting siege anytime soon. So, 
Who knows, though? I think I should be trying to... Oh, my God. I just want to see what the buildings do. Okay, whatever. It's not going to let me find out. I don't know what I'm talking about. It does. I'm being really stupid right now. A military port. It's probably what I need to get. Corruption. I don't think I have much corruption. Um, we'll do this, I think. We'll do that. Faction encountered. That reminds me, let's go see if we can get some trade. Greetings, friend. I normally just wait for them to give me trade, just because it's easier. And I know barbarians just hate trade for some reason, so... And most of the time I don't want trade with like any of them. I, am I really am fascinated by this faction Truth though. Will be your sharpest weapon. I really want to do a campaign on these guys. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, how about this a military alliance, no? Offensive, it's moderate. Not a brush impact, at least. Um, how much do I have to pay you? As honestly, I'd really like them to be my client's sake, but I don't think they're gonna be able to. They won't do that, so I'll be happy with just a defensive alliance. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, because, like I said, I'm trying to do allied with all the Greek countries, and I know they're Greek. Kind of like half and half. I'm very fascinated by them, though. Um, and I'm going to need an ally to uh, fight the Romans. Well, even though the Romans aren't very powerful, as everyone knows in this game. Uh, unless you're playing them, of, of course. Um, the Nori. Plan to take them out. Someday. Speak, my friend. And burden yourself of diplomacy. <laughs> Give you. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Give you. What? That seems very, very good deal, if you ask me. For a country that's getting owned right now. Okay. That's good. That's that's good enough for me. Um, So, we're getting pretty done food surplus. It's not as dead as I want it to be, but. <laughs> It'll serve its purpose. And let's talk about the roads. I never spend any time on roads. Probably because there's nothing I've ever do in roads. Dead of 10. It's so annoying. I'm always scared to upgrade. So I feel like they're just gonna rage at me. Screw it. Let's do it. Here, we'll do this. There. Then we'll be fine. Alright, yeah, that should work. So we need an upgrade there. Let's do it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So, himself. they want we me to join the war against the Nori. Which is very fascinating. Um, that's just moderate? No. I love you, Macedon, but... No, just no. Alliance forward is between Libya and the Etruscan League. Bithynia and the Seleucids. Hmm. So are they okay now? No, of course they're not. Populous. Still unhappy here, of course. Ready for orders. Oh, we have a full size army here. So what happens even if I get. Alright, yeah, they'll be okay there. 
I will join the war film on the Nori. Um, actually, now they're talking about that. Let's see who the Nori are war is. So, they're allied with... I don't want to do a war with this faction as well. I don't know who they are. So, I'm just going to, like, right here or something. I think I will join with, like, on side of Athens. And try and get some kind of money out of it. I don't know. Let's see. Or if they actually like, threaten one of my clients, say that they're about to take a region, I'll, I'll join the war. It should be quite easy to take over, and probably what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this army, come through here, take this settlement, take this army, take this settlement, and it's going to be very simple. The only, th only thing I am worried about is uh, Sabia, obviously, but I'm always kind of worried about them. Okay, so, they have forged an alliance, which I find very fascinating. Since they hold no land, well, they still have some of an ar somewhat of an army here, but I don't know. Um, contested province. Happy, unhappy. So these guys are my most profitable. Interesting. Okay, so uh, we'll return until we can fully just leave this place. Actually, we could probably leave it now. Yeah, we can. Um, so I could. I don't know, let's move my men up here. Just see. I I can't reach them right now, anyways. So there's no real point of attacking right now. Uh, I I want that ward to go by really quickly, though. I want it to be very quick, swift. Not much fighting, just very easy. Uh, these guys, I want to just totally annihilate them. I think I'm Ready just gonna do. For the gods! All right, so I'm they've retreated. Make haste, men. Destroy these guys. How we killed all of them. Ready for orders. We cannot follow. This. Kill them all. all right, and kill all these guys. So I'm really tired of looking at them. Oh, get owned. Get owned. Get down. Just sit down. Sit down. Very air crisis. To say. Wait, okay, we're good. We oh yeah, we have an upgrade. Battle. Plus one authority, oh, how nice. That two. Not only one, but two. Get to it, men. I hope you are much happier here. I think. Probably recruit another army if I want to. Um, I guess we could start it. Ready for orders. Pikemen. Should I get some Pikemen? Tell me. Like, I just don't trust it. Everything goes down. That's what makes no sense to me. Why would I want it? Why would I want that? I know they have a nice formation, but it's nothing I would kill for. I mean, they can go into phalanx mode too. I know it's nowhere near as effective as the phalanx that the Pied can go through, but it just feels like I'm losing too much to get from what I'm getting. Um, I'm honestly scared about. I know that sounds silly, but I am honestly scared about attacking these guys. Um, Samaria has actually gotten kind of powerful. They have three regions. I mean, that's not terribly powerful, but it's something. Um, we've been at war with them for a long time. I give you greeting. Honestly, and my probably my, my longest war. Minutes. Make your case, but without a lawyer's tedium. Yeah, I know. 
Oh no, they're at war with Bithynia. Oh. This senseless war can end today, but only if you see matters as they are, not as you. I make the offer of peace only from a position of strength. To offer. Are you serious? Fine, I'll give you 1200. I want to focus on Royal Sicily. We'll take him out, trust me, we will. Um, but for right now. We won't do that. Is Bithynia mad at me? Not really. Enter, friend, and. Uh, okay. Nice. We have traded for now, so now we can just focus on. Oh, Rose Sic Sicily. Probably what we're gonna do is we're gonna move through here, take these settlements, and then. Uh, I'll probably just move in and just take them out. That'll be pretty easy, I think. Uh, now, we're focusing really over here on war. Let's do it in turn. Is renowned. Join the and war. I am about to. Give me like five seconds. I don't want them doing a surprise attack on me. So and I want to see where Athens is doing as well. So they're moving up, I think, to take this element, which actually I don't want them to do. So don't do that, Athens. I'm going to be taking that. But you can help me. That will be quite nice. Um, I honestly don't want Athens taking this settlement either. I don't want my client side spreading out too far. I want them kind of in the same little group. That's why I don't. I hate. That's why I never bring my allies into battles. I don't know if they fixed it, but if it was like a like a city that was like right next to the sea, and you could um, do a sea assault on them or whatever, people would just the my allies would just siege them out. I know a lot of people had this problem, and you couldn't attack them. It was super annoying. Uh, I hope they fit that. That's why I never bring my allies in. I mean, I know some people say, what's the point of having allies? They are effective. Especially client states. I really do like client states. The Military allies, I don't think is the that effective. I don't want Syracuse. Just because they're associated... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, so, hey, Athens. Let's probably ask... Who do I have worse relations with? So 158, 35. Welcome, welcome. In a spirit of Olympian hospitality. Okay, let's see if they're gonna be as gracious. Greetings, friend. Greetings. Will you have wine, fine olives, or agreeable talk? Or right, maybe not that much. That was a little ridiculous, but what? Two thousand. Fine, I'll ask Athens. Did head? Okay. Um, Greetings, friend. Join Greetings. the war. Will you have wine, fine olives, or agreeable talk? Oh wow. Hmm. You know, I think I'll just do it as a gift. It's okay. I'll just do it as a gift to. Greetings, honored guest. I serve as. I believe I did a state gift bonus, so or if Nori plus thirty-four. Do I didn't need gifts for that. Oh, I thought you got gifts. But I, I got plus thirty-four no matter what, so that's good. And I believe I got a gift for that bonus with these guys too, so that's quite nice. Um Laying siege to the settlement. Can you just demand surrender? You can't do that? I'll do a balance, I guess. Okay, and I think I'm gonna end the part right here. Now we only, um... Now we only had one battle, but it's okay. Uh, it was a short battle, I know that too, but... 
Sometimes you can't do the battle every turn. Or every time. Uh, do, do, do. I feel like the last video was just mostly a battle, so. That was a tense battle. I already have a mustard field, so I don't need that. I'm debating if I should get farms. This. I think I'll get concentrated ground. I feel like I need it, so. I love to have a good public order. Do that. And I'm glad Athens is actually gonna help me out in this. Um, I think I'm gonna move my men up through here. How long will this be? So, negative 50. So actually, I probably don't need that. I don't really see that. I should be okay. So one turn until I could reach them. Um, let's hope they don't attack me. Once I take this settlement, though, I'm going to move this army and go to here, I think. I don't know if I want to move to Rome just yet. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to end the part right here. We should have, unless Athens attacks this faction, or this army right here, we should have a battle in that uh, part, and we should definitely have a battle when we're taking the settlement. So, um, nevertheless, uh, Rampar is expanding pretty well, if you ask me. Um, we'll have all of this and Sicily and we'll be moving into here and probably around here and then we're gonna move in and take all Sibia like I said before and once I take like this I'm gonna take this settlement the settlement unknown and then I'm gonna move in Sumeria Sumeria and then who knows what we'll do down here cause havoc I guess I have not had a revolution of champagne yet or whatever it's called rebels i think you, you have to get it to like uh after you get it too impressive it happens but um i'm quite interested in that plus 20 percent no wonder i've been very interested in why my men have been recruiting so quickly but anyways thank you guys for watching and uh have a nice day bye guys